As you know, I'm currently doing up my 100 year old cottage and I've actually found a secret room that's in my toilet. Welcome to my Harry Potter toilet. Now, a lot of you, especially if you don't live in the UK, might be wondering, Esme, why is your toilet under the stairs? Now, originally, there probably would have been a toilet outside. I know at some stage there was actually a bathroom where the kitchen currently is and the kitchen was the other side of the house so everything sort of moved around a bit over the 100 years but I call it my Harry Potter toilet because it is under the stairs and that's where Harry Potter's bedroom was but I was you know sitting in my bathroom on my toilet doing what you can imagine and um, I noticed that there's like a little metal lever on the floor and that's when I looked a little bit closer and there's a trap door. So I'm sort of crouching down here because it is quite a small space so I can show you. But here is the trapdoor. Also, excuse how grubby it is in here. This is my only working bathroom. So it's sort of, you know, where I wash my face, do my skincare, that kind of stuff. But it's also where the builders go to the toilet. So, you know, downstairs, just everywhere in the house is a little bit of a building site at the moment. But anyway, if I lift up this mat that definitely needs to go in the washing machine because that is filthy. We actually have a full on trap door here. It's quite heavy, so I'm gonna do my best to lift it open because I'm really intrigued to see where this goes. Okay. Oh. Also, this radiator definitely needs painting. It's got a little bit rusty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oopsies. There goes a plank of wood. Well, I'm gonna have to go in there to fish it out, that's for sure. I might put some overalls on because it does look pretty dusty down there. I'm currently putting my overalls on because I think it's going to be an overalls job because I have no idea what is down there. Could be mould, actually mould probably wouldn't be very good, I don't want to breathe that in. But it looks dusty, it looks cobwebby, I've got some, some protection to keep me somewhat clean, fingers crossed. Um, I also have a hat that I'll probably put on put my hair in because it does look so absolutely filthy down there but you never know could make it into like a secret little room one day that would be quite cool all right how do I look I need to put my wellies back on as well and then it's time to go in I also have a head torch that might be a good idea because it looks pretty dark down there as well well I'm ready as I'll ever be. I've got my head torch on. It feels like I'm going down into the mines. I've got that sort of outfit on. Bit different to Minecraft. I do feel like I'm discovering like a whole new world, a bit like in Coraline when she goes through the door or going down to the upside down. But anyway, wish me luck. I think I'll probably go feet first. I hope there aren't any like rats or anything in here. Okay. Oh, in I go. <laughs> Is this a really bad time to mention I'm claustrophobic? If you could like today's video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that because I, I, I'm really scared of small spaces. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, head torch is going on. It's like a little crawl space. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm caving. Like I don't have many fears. Like I'm not scared of like spiders or any animals, but I've got to say, small spaces really scare me like that's what i have nightmares about like walls closing in on me or like going through a tunnel that gets smaller and smaller and then there being no exit oh my gosh i don't like this okay i'm going i'm going all right guys so there is a passageway along here in front of me and um only i can fit down there so i'm going solo i've got my phone um so i'm gonna vlog for you guys i've just got my head torch on as well so do some exploring let's go let's shimmy shimmy all right i've been going for quite a while now sort of shimmying along like this i feel like a little worm or like i'm a, I'm a snake or something but there's something up ahead here and it looks like an obstruction to sort of like the tunnel like kind of made of like a cloth material so i'm gonna go and explore it and see what it is oh my gosh there are so many cobwebs as well what are these things here what is this this, this cloth where am I? Where are we gonna come out? Hey! <laughs> is this my tack room? Wait, 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 that's that's my saddle pads. What on earth? <laughs> Hello? No, this is this is definitely the yard. That's a bit strange. <laughs> 
like Joey. You look a bit shook, don't you? They're like, why, why are you here? Sorry, my head torch is on. That's probably probably going to be going in your eyes, mister. And then Mickey's here as well. Mickey, you have shavings all over your face. That's what you get up to while I'm away, hey? Hi, Caspi. Yeah? I mean, it is almost evening stables time for me to give the horses their food. Hi, little Duke. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I know it's not actually Christmas yet. It's almost Christmas. But I do have some early Christmas presents for the horses because they've been pretty good this year. So I actually have a very special one for Joey because he's been in the wars a little bit lately. He's been very poorly. He's back from hospital now. So I've got him a little present to keep him occupied because he is going to have to be on box rest for a while. Yes, so here we go, Joey. I have got you a little friend. I actually want to bought at the London International Horse Show. I've got bought you a little friend to keep you occupied. Yes. Oh, he's he's loving it. He's good at good old chew. Hey Jojo, what do you think to that? Oh, nice. Yeah, you're giving up. There we go. Good old chew, Mister. <laughs> okay, I will actually hang this up for him in a sec, but he seems to be enjoying it. It's like made of like a suede material, so obviously. I mean, Joey is a horse that likes to lick his special licking spot. So I'm sure this is made, you know, for horses. So he's going to love it. You just love sniffing and licking everything, don't you? Oh, he's going for Oh, he's going for its leg. He's going for a big chew. OK, <laughs> I will hang that up now. Let me just pop. Let me just pop this, pop this around the corner. I'll pop it in here because the, the ground's a bit wet. I don't want the, my Santa sack to get get dirty. Okay, Joseph, how are we going to hang this up? Let me, let me come inside. Oh, turn the light on. Should I hang it from here? Or is that just going to be a little bit too much, like, you know, outside? Is, should I get some baler toy and hang it like this? Should I get some baler toy or should I just tie it up little knot here? Okay, Joey. Oh, I mean, it's not made of food, but you can chew on it. <laughs> it's like a piñata, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think, Jojo? Oh, it makes a crunchy noise. You often see, like, at international horse shows and things, if you go to the stables, a lot of the horses, when they go travelling, they have their little travel buddy. Like, they have um, plushies or soft toys or teddies and that kind of thing um, in their stable. A bit like, you know, humans, like, having a little, little toy to play with. Look, this one. I mean, he does seem very intrigued in it. I was worried that he was just going to be like, nah, you know what? I'm not going to not gonna play with it at all. But I think he quite likes the noise that the bottle inside it makes. Makes like a... Ooh, you like that? Yeah! Oh, well done, Joey. You're a very clever boy, aren't you? Don't hit me in the face with it, Bella. Hey. All right, I'm going to give the horses their other 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 presents all right so in my little stocking here i have some early stocking presents for you guys i've got some treaties how about that oh michael be gentle michael and joseph mm -mm. there we go somebody actually asked me at my meeting group they asked me if mickey and joey's real names are actually michael and joseph um don't be rude, don't be rude. They're coming. Um, no, their actual names are Joey and Mickey, but when they're being a little bit cheeky, hey, I do call them Michael and Joseph, just because it's kind of like the longer names of their proper names. Um, so I find it a little bit funny. It's like you're two little cheeky school kids, aren't you? Yes, little school boys being a little bit cheeky. There we go. And it's funny how these two have the longer names. These two are probably the most cheeky out of my horses. So that's probably why you guys have the longer names. When, uh, I guess, what could, what could Caspian's long name be? Like Caspian? That doesn't really roll off the tongue as much. And then Duke doesn't really have a long name either. Anyway, over to Caspi. Hey, Caspi. To be fair, I do call Casper Caspi all the time. So to be fair, when I do call him Casper, it's normally when you're being a little bit cheeky as well, hey? But no, he's a very good boy. He's enjoying the treats as well. Some extra little Christmas treats, hey? You've been very good. He's gonna have to step up now. I'm sorry about this, Caspi, but 
You're being back to main competition horse. You thought you were getting the easy life, you know, being a veteran pony now, even though, you know, he doesn't feel like it. He was so spicy my first ride back after all the snow melted. So it goes to show he's still got a lot of power left in the tank. Hey, mister. Take you out and do some jumping, have some fun. Yeah. All right, on to little Juki now. Hey, Juki Pookie. Would you like some treats? Tell you what, I'm going to turn his light on and open up the door because you're so small, aren't you? You can't really reach over the stable door. He's now finally at the stage where he can eat these treats because before... Oh, it's okay. There's a little rustling sound in here. You weren't expecting that, were you? No. Uh, when he was... Excuse me. Don't be rude. When he was... <laughs> he loves the treats now. When he was smaller, his... Um, he had like his little baby teeth and he, or he didn't have some teeth in some areas actually. Um, so he struggled to eat these treats because they were a little bit bigger and a little bit more hard. So you had lots of little soft treats, didn't you? But no, he's loving these now, as you can see. He is a boy who loves his food. Aren't you, mister? No, you're, you're loving life, aren't you? This will be our second Christmas together, which is very exciting, yeah. Well done, baby. Okay, I think that's enough treats for you for now because you'll be having a lot more treats on Christmas Day, won't you fella? All right, see ya. I've just done evening stables, made sure all of the horses have enough haylage and things for the night. Now, I've just realized I've got to go home now. My car isn't here, my bike isn't here, and I don't really fancy walking in the dark and the cold. So I guess I'm gonna have to go back through the secret passageway. See you in there. The head torch is back on. Through the saddle pads we go. All right, let's go home. Well, it's a bit of a squeeze. All right, so I'm shimmying my way home and I found, I finally found the trap door up to my bathroom, hallelujah. I did not like that through all the spider webs and um, darkness and just, being in a small enclosed space, but I'm back in my toilet. Here we are, the actual toilet. We have my sink. Oh, it feels good to be home. Oh my goodness, look at the state of me. You ready? You ready? Oh yeah, look at those trousers. They've had better days. <laughs> well, who would believe that I had a secret passageway in my toilet that went all the way to my tack room. But in all seriousness, guys, I feel like we kind of needed a bit more of a uplifting, silly, funny video to go on the channel because it's been a bit of a difficult time. As you guys know, Joey hasn't been too well. So a lot of the beginning of 2023 will probably be a bit of a rehab series. Me show you how Joey's recovering, Joey updates, that kind of thing. But um, let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see from me in 2023. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot more of the cottage renovation series because there is still so much to do. I'm very excited to do the painting. But also before today's video ends, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the love and support on the channel over 2022, you know? It's been such an incredible year. Lots of different things has, ha has happened. It's been a lot, but no, I'm really, really grateful for all of your support, guys. So thank you so much. And I wish you all a happy new year and Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone who celebrates. <laughs>